It's like, oh damn, I'm gonna be late. Going down the stairs. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> or see he ye I'm like I like stop just stop just stop just <laughs> or <laughs> Oh nope, sorry. It's like sorry ladies and gentlemen, never go full Tourette's ever. That's just a freaking bad idea. Alright, today well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, that's already on. Today, I'm gonna do kind of a talking video, sort of like what uh, Boogie2988 does. Today, I'm gonna discuss something that everyone has been telling me about, and that is that the 360 servers are gonna be shut down by the end of 2015. I don't know if that would be, let's see, so that, I don't know if that would be sooner or something, or uh, or later, I don't know. It, people keep telling me that Twitter, Facebook, uh, and even Instagram, people like Josh and YouTube, Josh, they're like, Josh, they're gonna shut down 360 server. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I, well, I can't do anything about it. That's the problem. Now, there's gonna be one disadvantage to this. If they do do this, <laughs> if they do do this, then obviously, like me, I can't afford an Xbox One yet. If I win one, or one, I randomly like win one or something, or I get one for something, people are like, why didn't you ask for an Xbox One for Christmas? I'm like, well, guess what? It's a guess what? All every all kids, Santa don't have no five hundred dollars. Santa hasn't Santa hasn't hasn't been able to keep up with the electronics yet, people. And when I ask for my birthday, guess what? I'm not rich. Here's the thing. I'm not rich. I don't have money to buy an Xbox One. So that's the dilemma here. What 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 are we going to do if the 360 servers are shut down? I don't think they are going to be because for some reason, when I'm on Xbox 360, it shows all the same people but Xbox One, which means they still use the same account. They still use the same server, but now it's like this. Here's the Xbox server. Cut it in half. 360 side, Xbox One side. They're like basically combined together into one magical thing. Now, I don't know, I don't think they ever will because the amount of people for 360 are still, I don't know the exact number, but I know for 360 there's still a lot more people signing on than Xbox One. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, what if, what if I can't afford an Xbox One? What if I can't afford an Xbox One? Then what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What is everyone else going to do if we can't afford an Xbox One? And 360 server shut down. I guess Microsoft just doing this to us and saying, buy one. But what if we can't buy one, Microsoft? Don't. I hope this is a lie. I hope this... Um, that was that was pretty embarrassing. Well, not not really, because some of the things they do, there's gonna be a lot more dumb stunts coming up. But I don't know. I don't know what we would do if the 360 service actually shut down. I highly doubt that they're gonna do that. But I keep hearing that all over the internet. People are like, what's gonna happen? What are we gonna do? Can't can't for one reason because if I see on my 360 people are on Xbox One, then why? how would they even be able to shut it down is the real question. Because if you shut down the 360 servers, then wouldn't that kind of screw up the Xbox One thing? Because they're kind of they're kind of the same. I have seen my one friend does, an app, does have an Xbox One. It's kind of it's kind of almost the same. I like how they left it almost the same as the 360, except better graphics, more memory, uh, 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 better processing things down. Well, things still don't download for my internet faster. It the one day it's my internet is still pretty shitty. So let's get back on topic to shutting down the 360 servers. I don't think there's much else to say. It could be a myth. It could be a rumor. It could be something that people are just talking about and just to get me mad because what are we gonna do I can't buy an Xbox one like let's say and up to about me let's say halfway into 2015 they're like oh the servers the servers the servers oh sorry I'm d I started doing like that Francis yeah Francis 
Uh, I think that's about it. Basic point I was going on there. Microsoft, please don't shut down the 360 servers because all the poor people like me and stuff, we can't afford an Xbox One right now. So, like, don't do this to us. Don't do, don't do this to us because that'd be messed up. That'd piss me off. I'd be like, really, Microsoft? You guys are badasses. Uh, yeah. Now, the the end of this video, I'm gonna discuss one other fact. Xbox One versus PS4. I actually don't want to say anything about them two. I'll give, I'll probably give the positive points of both. Xbox One, like, I don't know 100% yet, so I can't really say much the difference between, but the only difference between Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 was that PlayStation 3 had Blu-ray, which that beat an Xbox 360. Xbox 360 and the play people keep saying PlayStation graphics were PlayStation 3 graphics were better than 360. They were about the same because I remember my friend. I have two TVs here. One there, there. Xbox 360, play PS3. We had the same game, both the exact same TV, Samsung TVs. I couldn't really tell the difference between them two. There could be PlayStation probably has a little bit better graphics, but I don't know. Xbox 360, you have to pay. Remember, you have to pay for your monthly crap and stuff, but you get free games, free demos, free DLC, well, some free DLCs. That's why I love Planet Army Garden Warfare, Grand Theft Auto V, free DLCs crap. Uh, PlayStation 3, it was free online, but you, you didn't get anything. You didn't get anything at all. No demos, no anything, until they actually fixed it, like, a year ago or something. So I can't really compare, but what I can say for sure is computer will always be the number one choice. And the reason why is because we can always upgrade it to get it better. We can give it better graphics, more internal memory, uh can't really do that with well 360 you could you could buy a, a hard drive and plug it in or something but that kind of sucks because then it's hanging out for a uh, computer for the pc you can easily upgrade crap and stuff Bear graphics keep up to date keep updating it every year you can update your computer uh 360s they for xbox one they do upgrade stuff like i heard that they now xbox ones now use seven out of the eight processor things that they have in it so the graphics will be even better i still don't know and then here's here's the chart though play uh computer will always be the best the wii will always be in last the wii u oh my gosh i still have an original wii i can't do i can't do hdmi i can't hook up my hdmi cord to do it to screen record it because there's no hdmi with the wii the original wii no, Wii U, I think, but play PlayStation 4, PS4, Xbox One. I don't know. I can't really tell you what the difference are. They're both two incredible gaming systems. I like. I someday wish to be able to give the opportunity, but to be given the opportunity to play both, because then I could give you the exact like thing to do. Now, the one thing I still like about 360 is you can download games online to your Xbox. Sometimes I'm really lazy and I don't like opening the disc tray and putting it in. And no, that's not what she... Well, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I do, I do not know. Maybe it, it, it could be. Maybe, maybe so. Maybe not. Alright, so that's going to be about doing it. That's gonna be about doing it, so hey yes, you would pay here, yes, and check ski guys and again. Hey.